My beautiful friends, I have a vision. We're going to be doing some beautiful leaves, flowers, hopefully birdie as well. Something similar to what we have done uh, a few weeks ago. And honestly, you have loved the project so much. So I thought, you know what, why don't I just try to make it again, but differently. So that's what I'm going to do. Packing paper. I just love these two. I'm going to fussy cut them. I did fussy cut the flower. And I have another packing paper, which is gorgeousness, with the birds. And I'm gonna fussy cut this one. Those are the papers that I was hoping to use. I'm not done, we may still use some, we shall see. And the bird is there. I love the color of the bird. It's kind of, I don't know, it just I, I just feel it could be it. My only question is, are we leaving this as... As this I decided to you know what we're gonna jump in with the cup again honestly I just think it's gonna be so cute and I know I already have um, used mug but I just love the idea I'm I'm thinking it mug should be smaller I drew it like this I think it should be smaller but just in case I rather cut it draw it bigger and then make it smaller if I feel like oh this is too big or something rather than regretting that why did I cut it uh, too short too small or whichever so if you know what I mean I'm gonna just jump in for that um, I love the idea of mock I loved in the previous project do you know what I'll show which project I'm talking about because maybe some of you don't remember it's this project we have done a cup we've done a flower and I think this is going to be so pretty as well and I wanted to redo this sort of project I wanted to do it again because it was such a joy and honestly it was so pretty so pretty so there we go let me just cut this and also <laughs> that's so cute actually this mug itself it's lovely <gasps> I didn't think of that I thought about this design which is also lovely jovely <gasps> but now that I'm looking how about wow we how about yes you know what we may just yeah I think we just will do that. I think I'm gonna just wash, clean it off, wipe it off the the <laughs> uh, the pencil and I'm gonna stick with that one. Why not? Because it's so pretty. It is so pretty. I didn't think of this uh, part for this side for the design. I really thought about the other one but you can always change your mind while you're making something. And it's all good. Do you know what we're gonna... I love this actually. We're gonna just have this one. This side. Why not? Is it nicer? Well... I think both ideas are nicer. And the reason I think... No, I, I think this is just nicer. No, this is just right. Bigger and smaller and I think... Th I'm glad I cut it bigger. Because like, learn from this experience. I wanted this to be way shorter. And it would still be nice. But I think the fact that the flower itself is quite big. We need bigger pot <laughs> for it, right? That makes sense. Okay. Now, let's firstly focus on where we're going to place the flower. Which is exactly here. Then the mug should be here, really. Then we need... Bird, make sure we have room for birdie the birdie could be here mm, the only thing is that it's going to be less visible on this super dark flower right what if we will swap no it won't no it has to be facing the flower right but we could just make it maybe I don't know just a thought a shorter version or one second one second we can just I hope have one on top of another so we're not gonna get rid of that part but we can just change them around then easier there we go at least like that or something of this kind and still have the birdie no, the birdie, or maybe the birdie could be a bit higher if he's gonna be on, not on the cup, but maybe on the leaves itself. 
That is nice. That is nice. Let's give it a, another thought. Let's give it another go and see. Maybe we can shovel it around, shovel it around, sh move it around like this or something. Like, look, it's just a trial just to see my beautiful friends i just don't know how to do it and you know what i thought marta maybe it's the problem with the bird that it's facing the wrong direction so i love your bird i'm gonna use it for the next project i promise but look at this one not only it's facing the right direction but it is also color wise matchy matchy maybe even better actually we could have this this birdie going with this these leaves truthfully because these leaves are kind of bl mm, imagine that blue bluishy kind of oil oh, I love this I love this I'm gonna keep it like that maybe for the next project let's see this because we can go back to our original idea which was I don't know which <laughs> I don't know what was it I think it was like that uh, but we can definitely try to have oh look 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 it's already getting better but i was thinking how about if we swap this flowerito maybe with this here but then where are we going to place the bird oh this is so gorgeous without the bird actually wow i'm going to leave it like that guys girls ladies and gentlemen my beautiful friends i think i think i found it i think i found a perfect sizing a perfect solution just the right amount of everything and it's a weird one because it's like two big focal points but they somehow match it because you have like three elements so it's somehow beautiful composition it's really intriguing interesting i love it with this beautiful perfect composition i thought okay marta if not the birdie how about a butterfly so i had these gorgeous butterflies also from bomb art from budapest um and i was thinking to just a regular add the regular butterfly however <laughs> there's not enough room really if you if you look closely if you look properly it's weird in enough uh, shape wise for where to place the regular looking butterfly so the side facing kind of side facing even face facing <laughs> face facing no the side facing butterfly could be our answer so let's see i'm not too sure yet but let's see because he could be like here and it is so pretty it is so pretty how about would that be nice to have side face say face facing <laughs> this direction but i think we have all of them being faced the other direction however let's have a look this is packing paper so oh wow look it's there oh, i'm gonna fussy cut this one i think the hardest part right now will be to really glue it down Ah, the way that we placed it i i found it in the previous project i think that i have misplaced it a little bit and it was a little bit wonky but hey it's fine you can like have this a little bit imperfect uh it depends if you will manage to have the rest properly or will it stick it out from the page so i suggest you to maybe possibly what you could do is you could have for example, I'm gonna just be gentle, and there we go. <laughs> I'm gonna. Uh, you can have. Uh, you can have. Uh, draw it around it if you feel like it around your elements. Um, you can take a picture, a photograph. I did that actually, uh, off camera, just to make sure that you place in it properly, exactly as you wish. Now this glue stick is also fabulous because it's the Elmer's glue restickable up to five minutes. So really, you can move it around if it happens that you don't like the shape now i'm turning this a bit around because i wish the butterflies to be on the other uh, heights of the project so that's why it's a little bit maybe weird in a way that i'm kind of turning this rose aside but i really wish this to be as i have mentioned making the butterflies to be on two different levels because i had them next to each other like here and here and the noises is Lucas. <laughs> uh, <laughs> usually people would say the noises are made by kids or animals, is it not by husband? <laughs> but then, yeah, 
and that's <laughs> we have no pet other than husband in the house <laughs> um, so yes I think it's just nicer like that let's see there was some little 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 hair and same for this one I think I need to really focus on where is this uh, going will this go up high so this restockable restickable glue it's actually fabulous if you think about it you know gorgeousness I love it I so love it beautiful I must say I love big huge elements like this I miss them um, a lot I don't have too many which I would love to have uh, so yes it would be nice to have more of these kind of packing papers I need to find them maybe online somewhere or oh, maybe here actually how is that oh time to pick up Hannah from school doom 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 <laughs> doom 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 I, oh I think this is not even straight that much <laughs> it wasn't oops one second that's I think that's a little bit better here or here I think actually here fun enough because it's kind of empty space there now because I was not adding too much glue at the edges we may find that some of the elements are not that much glued down and um, but what I will do as well I'm gonna jump in a layer of clear gesso in a second and this will allow me to have my oh and these are fantastic I'll give you a link to these scissors um, uh, on the in the description box and for the glue as well these are my go-to tools and I really love them and I truly use them and I truly recommend them and I truly feel they are great um, sometimes you go through all these supplies and you test it out and this and that and I have went through so many glue sticks and somehow I'm coming back to this one for one reason is the size of this Elmer glue actually which is tiny which is cute it's the the fact that you can re replace the elements and things so that's 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 great like that's awesome important part of it oops there we go we have the clear gesso and I'm gonna jump in with it because I think it will help me to really 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 have everything in place and we can we can still have a great way of going around the project now let's dry this we are gonna use kind of untypical colors because we're gonna jump in for the pinks because I honestly think that the pink here just deserve to be around this flower because in general it is a pinky color right so I'm gonna just drag some pink in the design but then I think it would be nice if we can drag a little bit of that brownie color because that will be more of the um, darkish elements as well being added and I have two different pinky colors the more dirty more pinky <laughs> um, again use whatever you have for the dragging colors like what I'm doing right now you can use watercolors you can use watercolor gouaches you can use um, markers you can use pencils you can use woodies you can literally use whatever you have in your stash because anything for shading will work and anything anything that is like watercolor based will work basically so I suggest you to just uh, give it a go at whatever supplies you own and don't necessarily worry that you don't have the same shades as I do and especially choose the shade that is really speak the volume towards your project and I think in this case pink seems to be fine and then brown on top of that seems to be just right as well because it's gonna be like a, this delicate final finish which I think will just make it nice um, there we go there we go something like that and of course it's gonna be a little bit of um, I'm gonna turn the project around I hope you don't mind me doing that uh, because it's just so much easier with my left dominant hand going on those edges of the project and drag the paint so basically what you do is you grab some color you go around your edge 
like here, like here. You can dip in it into more more pigment as well. You you get the edge. You are at the edges, and then clean it off a little bit and just smoosh it out with the leftover water on your brush. So you're basically trying to have your um, your colors dragged, and you you know, you don't want the pigment to be too static and too liney looking. It's more like you you wish for this to fly around and just be diluted and gorgeous basically <laughs> and basically gorgeous now I'm gonna add some of the color here because I haven't and I think it would be nice to have this not as white okay so we have this and then what well you could just grab as I will grab that brownie color and I'm gonna just go at the few spots where I'm gonna feel like it's good idea like here like few of them not everywhere really I think just a few of them where I feel that it could be nice when it's gonna be darker like here like here gorgeousness okay and same thing we're just gonna lift the color with the brush to make sure that it's like lovely jovely and that it's diluted into our background it's looking beautiful and that darker color is giving us actually this lovely uh, shady effect like like really shady effect i'm going back again for the same spots once more because i think i wish to have it even more standing out even more to have it really speak the volume in the few places like I have here and because everything is pretty much wet at this point really um, you know it's just easier even to dilute it and I'm also gonna go sorry about that I'm also gonna go for the bottom part of course and I hope hopefully will create some kind of sh shadowy floor effect thing there we go something like that I'm gonna turn it around once more and jump in again with the same sort of darkish attitude color going I'm going into a few of these same for the butterfly I think it looks gorgeous here on the butterfly giving this dark really nice deep effect that just love looks lovely mm-hmm okay maybe I actually haven't add any <laughs> any pink here but that's okay and I think the pink right now it's really lovely matching with that brown I think brown is nearly taking over slowly that's okay too we can still go back if you change your mind if you think it's too much you can play with white you can just add it up and just you know do it once more and I feel that this we could benefit from that here a little bit Yes, for sure, because it's a little, I don't know, it was just a little too much dark uh, brightness in there. I think I'm going to go for this flower here as well, because it just feels that it's not as, um, not as dark, I don't know. I said a few places and I'm slowly nearly painting everywhere, but you know, take your time. I love how, I said that I'm not fan of this paper, but I love now how it's actually diluting it here because it's doing a beautiful job so I may just take it away what I have said about it because I will first of all I added the um, the gesso on top so that's already changing the perspective on that coloring right it's already I love how it looks that it's really in the kind of sh zone of being dark and noticeable I love that I really love that all of it here uh, there we go so we have like all of these being recognized here there we go I am afraid to touch the butterfly butt thing here <laughs> because it's so pretty I may just have a touch it's gorgeousness now I may jump in here even more like really tiny we're talking tiny tiny same for here same for here same for here even 
make it a little bit darker now if you're asking me what color i'm using it's handmade watercolor that i purchased i think last year in some advent calendar so honestly i don't have the name can't remember uh, but any brown that matches it's because it's brown ish anything would work guys anything would really work trust me you can just decide about the coloring that matches your project and I think that's the main thing okay now let's see what's in here what we have it is so pretty I would suggest to kind of move this even further like here onto the <laughs> onto here so it's not stopping there it is so beautiful now we're gonna dry this we're gonna dry this you know one thing is that I'm thinking is it enough of pink but if you don't feel like it's enough you can go back to that mm, darker shades in those places oops sorry and just even add that pinky shade look just a tiny touch so that is like a reminder of hello I was here the pink was here so that's exactly what we can do just to have that pink really speaking for itself speaking volume here there we go I love how things are going in the grooves that's the beauty of that technique of coloring the shade shading the the um, around and all I think it's phenomenal I just love it so much it's it's just wonderful like I really truly love this so much I'm in love with the project. I love it, love it. My page is dry, so it's time to do a little bit of doodles. My Pilot GTX C4, of course, it's gonna make just the right, the right uh, element. It will just be a beautiful addition to our project. So I'm gently just adding doodles here and there, here and there. You can doodle even on top of your element, not only on the side but actually you can have a little bit of doodle on top I love doing it because it's just this little addition of making everything standing out a little bit more I think I need to glue down this part of the cup um, in the previous project which is here let me show you we have done uh, the, the beautiful words and I think I think I would love that as well am I right I think I would like that yes I would like that and also what's coming to my mind is that I think I would love to have possibly a little extra white going around on the here so I may do that I may do a little bit of white as well oh I forgot to <laughs> it's so funny I forgot to have a little bit of this here yes Hannah Uh, they should be there I'll have a look in one second let me just finish this this will dry and I'll get you your your tights baby okay I'll get you your tights I like, the birds. I like it too Are you gonna add them to my, to the project? I don't know yet maybe not for this one but for the next one for for sure because I do love it as well um, you want some tights is it White tights. White and tights. Okay. White hearts on them. The hearts on them. Hmm. That's a little bit of a wish list idea. I like it. You like my project, you mean? Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. I liked your projects. Hannah brought me her beautiful pumpkin. And there was a beginning of spooky season coloring. And that's Simba, is it? And there's other clay. Or Pum. Or that's Simba. It is Simba. Oh, there's another one. That's a Mufasa and Sarabi, Mommy and Daddy. And yeah, so everyone was doing a little bit of arts today. Now, let me just do a bit of coloring of that. Uh, I mean, doodling. I think I will go for. Um, I would love to go for some splashes as well. And you know. Mm -hmm. Now, let me just 
Honey, wait a second. What are you cutting? This birdie. I can give you this birdie. Look, it's here. Would you like it? No. It's the same. No, I just want my own one. <sighs> one second, Hannah. No, maybe take the smaller scissors. Wait, look. Take the smaller scissors. There you go. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm making another fresh coffee. So I'm going to grab a coffee as well and come back to you. I think for the splashes part and I need to find the tights, of course, for Hannah. And it's dinner time as well. Um, what else? It's gymnastics today for Hannah. And mommy has tennis as well, right? Mm -hmm. So everyone is busy, busy today. And daddy has tennis as well. Now, there we go. Mm -hmm. And voila, that looks so pretty. Now loosen up your hand guys and just when you're doing your doodles like really let's make them no stress doodles, you know? Let's just make sure that they're just delicate. Do you want to be on the ground? No problem, Hannah, you can be on the ground. Now, I'm nearly done with the doodles, Hannah, so I'm gonna go and get stuff for you as promised. Um, and maybe make you dinner as well and then come back to you guys here for the, yeah, for the splashes and the text as well. I have my tower <laughs> because I wanted this to be heavy on top of this mug. Okay, there we go. And a fresh coffee, fresh pot of coffee. Let's put this aside. We're nearly there. I forgot about the title, honestly. So let me think about the title, but in the meantime, we can do a little bit of splashy toes, right? I think so. We can most definitely do some splashes in the meantime. And we have my small brush. There we go. So I'm gonna go for of course white splashes i love how it tie everything together i love how uh, milky snowy that is i love how it's giving me some kind of i don't know feeling of unite unity on the whole project i love the snowy effect on my projects i just do and i know that some people don't and that's okay but I just love my splashes. I love how the splashes are actually standing out on the project because this seems to be very much pinky, isn't it? I love that. So let's have this here. We're nearly there actually with our... <laughs> it's really snowy right now, I have to say. I think the black splashes could be a little bit like there and here maybe. And I'm just using watercolor black splash and I have used this one as my favorite calligraphy white ink because it is so white, it is so liquidy, it is so convenient, it's quite expensive because I think it's 8 euro for color which is 8 dollars or 5 dollars, sorry, sorry, if 6 dollars, 6 euro, something like that which you may think it's not a lot but you know when you have quite a number and I just purchased recently quite a number of, the, of them and you if you think about this is only for splashes what I actually use you'd be like crazy Marta you can use anything else for splashes which is true mm -hmm. but I just somehow love it and the third Mommy, yes Hannah can you fix my ponytail when you're finished yes of course I can I'm even nearly finished I'm nearly finished how is that mm -hmm, I like it. you do mm -hmm. would you like no. to show everyone your beautiful uh, dress color it's lovely black, but how pretty and delicate chiffon, I think. I'm gonna get the title, one second. It's from my cousin. Yeah, <laughs> the title. I think I found something that may be nice. It's from this booklet. I got it some time ago, ages ago, luckily. And it's like hello. vellum coat, hello. You have gold and black and white, or maybe just black. So we get this. And let's see if we're I gonna like if we're gonna Can attach it. Do you gonna hold this for me? Because I, I, I everything is wet around. So if you don't mind holding that for me, thank you. Are I, you using the gold one? No, actually, thank you. I'm using this. You hold this. You hold that, please. Thank you. Hold it. Hold Are it. Hold it. Well, I'm thinking here, but I don't know if it's any good. Oh, it's it's nice. 
I do love it. Oops. What does it say though? It says, uh, let's spell it. Happiness. Can you spell that? Is. Is. Oops, that's okay. Spell the next word. I don't know. O. O. N. A. N. N. So is on. On. T H. It's like the. The. Way. It's a. Uh, it's. These are but difficult words, it, Hannah. I mean, di it, difficult letters. That's why you you have a trouble maybe. But can you um sound it out? In one rhyme. Happiness is on the way. Right? <laughs> Happiness is a butterfly. Try and catch na 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 na. Those who don't like my singing <laughs> will this unsubscribe. <laughs> I'm sorry. In advance. I love it. I'm gonna keep it like that because I just love it. I think it's so pretty. Yes, Hanyu. Uh, hairstyle? Yes, I will. Can I just finish this? I'm just adding the title and I'm all yours. Uh, what title? Happiness is the way. It's a title. So then I'm all yes, yours. I forgot. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be all yours forever and ever. Now, would you mind telling everybody which team are you on? Da mommies. Daddy or mommies? Mommies, is it? Mm -hmm. And daddy is thinking that you are on what team? His team. <laughs> and is that true? Mm -mm. And why aren't you on daddy's team, tell me? Because I always go to mom's bed. <laughs> part of the bed. <laughs> mom's part of the bed, yes. Well, when daddy was in Poland, you were sleeping on daddy's side, right? Yeah. And we were sleeping together. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That was a great time, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think so, too. And I did that still, whenever you sleep me. Yeah. Okay, happiness Ooh. is on, on the way. I believe that. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. This is a beautiful flower. It is. My beautiful friends. I think I'm going to finish here. I really hope you liked it and enjoyed this little video. <laughs> um, so yes, have a beautiful week and be creative and but most importantly be healthy and have lots of smiles in the upcoming days. Uh, so thank you so much for watching and I'll chat to you very very soon. I love you. Bye for now.